What's up, people? It's your boy Jitwa. I'm here today in Kerbal Space Program. Now, the last chopper I built, it was powered by guns. That was a little insane, yes. But, you know, there's some other things that I had in my mind that I want to try for that before I use the chopper. So, one of the things that was running through my brain is what happens if I use the actual cargo bays as the propeller blades. As you can see in here, there are no actual uh, wings in here. This is going to be straight body lift that we're going to be using to show you the power of the body lift in the game for the cargo bays. Now, I don't want this nerfed in any way, form, or fashion because clearly this is awesome and the body lift system in there works fantastic. Let me get my microphone over here. So, what I want, what I hope to show is that this does work awesomely and I, I really like the body lift system. So what you're seeing here is this chopper that I devised for this. Now there is a lot of struts because the struts keep this thing from falling apart. <laughs> so I hope that this will lift off. Everything's strutted together. These wheels are from Wheel Collection. Uh, you might recognize them from Roll Cage. And the struts that you're seeing here, these beams are from Infernal Robotics. Uh, in here we have these little rotors. Those are also from Infernal Robotics. And they are powerless rotors. They just they, they have no motor. So they just spin as fast as I can send them. And we have all of our engines at a nice degree of angle. So we should be pushing forward and not down, but we should also have a little lift on our propeller blades. So first things first, let's get to daylight because it's currently uh, getting dark and I want to be able to see this. Okay, so here we go. We are ready and hopefully this will lift off. Let's give you a nice look from the Kerbal's point of view. He's looking at it saying, what in the serious heck am I doing in this craft? But you will be okay, my friend. You will be okay. All right, let's do this. Leroy Jenkins and all that jazz. Okay, SAS is go, engines down. Extremely loud noise for the engines. And now we're going to slowly throttle ourselves up. And let's give you a nice look of what this looks like for me. Look at all this. Look at all that steam we're pushing out. All that exhaust. And are we going to lift off? Do we need more thrust? A little bit more thrust. And we're airborne! <laughs> We are airborne! Oh my god, I didn't put a tail on this because I didn't really think this would work. <laughs> oh my god, rip frames per second. <laughs> what? Alright, so let's gently set this thing back down. Because we are, we are chugging through our liquid fuel. Alright. Vertical speed is coming down. Oh my god. All that exhaust is killing my frames per second. All that exhaust. This would not be a stealth chopper by any means. Holy crap. That is beautiful. Even with just a little bit of fuel being used, it is still, even with just a little bit of, of throttle, it's able to lift off. And that is thanks to that lifting body that is included. That little bit of lift that's included in those cargo bays will get you off the ground when in use as a chopper. <laughs> of course, if you do it like this, you're probably going to drop your frames per second to something absolutely horrendous. So... Can I come down? I want to come down. All right, now, now we're coming down a little faster. And we actually got a little distance here. That's pretty. It's really stable. I didn't think it would be that stable, to be truthful. Because holy crap, that's a lot of exhaust. That's a lot of exhaust. <laughs> 
That is an amazing sight right there. Oh, man. Wow. All right. Starting to come down. Well, I am shocked and amazed because, once again, I thought this wouldn't work. I thought it was just going to fly itself apart and explode like it's been doing in my test runs. But I decided to strut it up, record it, let's see what happens. <laughs> and this is what happens. An extremely stable chopper using the blades made of cargo bays. So, yeah, we're still coming down. Really slowly, but we're coming down. I'm going to cut my throat a little bit more. There we go. Now we have a nice steady drop. So, I wonder what will happen if I throw a tail and some uh, winglets on here to give myself proper control of my direction and if that would work as a regular chopper. We're coming down kind of fast. I don't know. Now that we're dropping through our exhaust, everything is a little scarier. All right, slowing ourselves down here. And is it going to be enough? Holy crap, frames per second, really? I mean, we're <laughs> we're making it. This could be like your ultimate uh, smoke screen that you could have for war. Uh, you just send a bunch of these out and make a big smoke screen. And uh, no one would be able to get through it. I actually have a lot of control over my my lift right now, my vertical speed. I have a lot of control over it. All I have to do is just a little bit of throttle, and that allows me to go to control my drop really accurately. I am surprised that I have that much of it, though. I thought this would have been kind of chaotic, a bit more chaotic than it actually is. All right, coming to touch down. Coming to touch down. And we are steadily decelerating. Look at that control. That is ridiculous. And touchdown. Engine's dead. <laughs> So, I just make sure I was, last time I recorded I had everything on mute for my other vehicle that I was going to show off. And that other vehicle was hilarious, it was a catapult, but I've already done catapults, so I didn't want to go back. So I'm going to take this back to the hangar, and I'm going to actually add a little bit more fuel, and we're going to see if we can control it with a tail and with some winglets. Be right back. All right, we are back. The sun is kissing us ever so slightly. We have our winglets in the front and back and some additional fuel, so we should be able to hang it in the air quite a bit longer. So, let's see what happens here. Quick save. <laughs> Extremely loud engine cut on, and we are throttling up, and let's see what happens. All right, just under half throttle. And we're airborne. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> well, that throws things off a little bit. Uh, we got a little control. but not what I was hoping for. <laughs> there we go. We got a little bit back. All right. So we have our vertical speed nice and steady. And we actually are controlling our direction now. So, as a viable chopper, it can work. It's not pretty. <laughs> But it can work as a viable chopper. Holy crap! I am absolutely amazed right now because 
Uh, this is like when you do something and you don't expect it to work, and all of a sudden it works, and all you can do is sit back and look at what you've made and go, oh, well that's a, that's a hoot, that's a thing. <laughs> of course, my yaw control, I need a lot more yaw control because my current yaw control is, is not doing so well. But... There it goes. But we're currently in flight. We're controlling our direction. And we are making progress. Horizontal speed of 6.2. 6. Point, it's dropping 6, 6 meters per second. Under 6 meters per second. But we have control. We have a nice little flight time. Our Delta V is atrocious. But it is better than some of the airplanes I've made historically. So what you're seeing here is a successful mission. Mission success! <laughs> I guess I'll cut it here. Because this is definitely beyond anything I could have thought and hoped it would do. Especially the fact that I have control over it, it is even better. So, if you like what you're seeing, hit that like button, drop me in a comment, let me know what you think. And if you have uploaded your your weekend projects up on Imgur or anything, definitely drop them a link in the comments down below. Let's share out what we've all been working on on the weekends. And uh, hopefully we can get together one day and, and kind of show it off. Uh, once again, I'm going to go for a stream on Wednesday around 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And I hope to catch you all there. Uh, we'll try to design something funky again. <laughs> <laughs> it's always fun. But I hope to catch you guys on the stream. I hope to catch you guys at the next run. And the next time. But for now, this is your boy Jatwine. I'm going to get out of here. Woo! I did not think this would fly. That is something else. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> that is crazy. Lift it off! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Off the side and plummeting down! Will the tire survive?